this is something that we are very used to in um, in America, uh, where we are very, very used to hearing about former athletes getting popped for trafficking mm -hmm. for one reason or another. It doesn't matter how many millions of dollars uh, that they have already earned from the, uh, the, the, the top leagues, whether it's NFL, NBA, uh, MLB, you name it. Um, trapping is trapping, and sometimes they find themselves in situations where they have to. Sometimes they find themselves in situations where they want to. But either way, mm -hmm. it happens. But um, today's case is coming from across, across the pond in the UK, where former Als Arsenal striker from the Premier League, the top of the creme de la creme over there in uh, global football, not American football, where we use most of our hands, but in uh, global football, he's been arrested and charged for attempting to allegedly excuse me allegedly attempting to smuggle 600,000 pounds worth of cannabis to the UK what is that in american dollars uh um, jason was that about like a 1.4 million no bro it's, it's it says 600,000 pounds right yeah so in american dollars it's, it's like yeah. twice that right no it's like you know like a half a million dollars no jason no 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 sorry sorry way. sorry sorry uh, sorry my bad yeah it's probably about 1.2 Oh my God! I got an apology from Jason. No, Yo, that's also yeah, incorrect. No, no, you did not get that. an apology from me. <laughs> Jason was wrong. Oh anyway, no. anyways, about one point two million dollars worth of uh, cannabis into the UK. You know, thirty-three year old. Right. The 33 year old was detained by a national crime agency or the NCA after border force officials seized 60 kilos of the drugs flown from Bangkok uh, to Stansten Airport September 2nd. I think we found where all this weed is coming from into the UK, coming from Bangkok, where they're trying to get it out. Anyways, he faces charges of importing Class B drugs and is scheduled to appear in court. Two women have also been arrested in connection with the case. Honeypot, maybe? I don't know. Emmanuel Thomas, who came through Arsenal's academy, was has played for several clubs, including QPR, Ipswich, Aberdeen, and most recently joined Green Knock Morton. But it um, looks like he's going to be joining in those uh, orange suits pretty soon. And um, hopefully, you know, they can uh, legalize over there quickly, and uh, maybe this guy can get uh, pardoned by Joe Biden, too. Mm, yeah, <laughs> right. Fat chance. But, uh, <laughs> I'm Rico Lamit, the dopest dad on the street for High 9 News. Uh, just uh, interesting to see this going on outside of the U.S., uh, where, um, yeah, former pro athletes. Uh, I want to see some data on that. Um, uh, if there's a lot of other uh, former pro athletes that have made it to the top in other leagues in the world, if they're getting in trouble for smuggling dope as well because we if there's one thing that we always say we always know is the trap always wins and um this guy's heart seems like it was in the trap uh what do you guys think uk i think that it's seven hundred ninety-seven thousand and ten us dollars because that's how conversion from gbp works but just want to clear that one right so thanks we were, so much you know, for that at least we have a real appreciate you're that. welcome jason we're looking out you're welcome thank you for that Mm -hmm. Now, Rico, I guess a clarifying question. Did this happen at a, a private airport, private plane, or a, how did this happen? It says that he was, let's see, boom, 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 boom. I'm looking at the other one in The Guardian, because there's like several people that were charging mm -hmm. this, and The Guardian has a little bit more info on My it. My comment on that is that, you know, if you're flying private, North, it's North, so North tempting. London. So tempting uh, to, to take cannabis with you and if you're like a, you know uh multi-million dollar multi-millionaire mm -hmm. athlete there, it's, there's many opportunities uh to bypass the regular screening and there's so much so much temptation yeah yeah i mean you could just do jet yeah, it, does, X it, does, it does not specify yeah it does not specify but it, it did say he was um flying uh into stansden which is in north london Mm -hmm. So it's not a it's not Heathrow where we're seeing like all of these big pops, uh, these big uh, bus uh, going down. But those um, big bus are happening yeah, on commercial airliners. Yeah, it must be private saying. because it's not Heathrow or Gatwick. So if it flew into somewhere else, it would have to be in yeah. a private airport. I don't know yeah. about all that. I think I flew okay. into Stansted, and, and it's not it's like a, a little airport, but you know it's it usually like for flights from private. across the channel. Like mm -hmm. your little European flight. So like regional people. then? More regional. Yeah, then. more regional. Okay. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. But I, I think the point is like if you're gallivanting all over the globe and you're getting minimum security screening because you're flying private, very tempting. I'll tell you what, I, I smell it. I smell a snitch. I smell a snitch somewhere. 
Come on, man. I definitely smell Somebody a snitch snitching. somewhere. Someone's snitching. I mean, maybe. It's also a large amount. We don't know how well this guy packaged it. He could have just kind of, like Omar said, just kind of taken advantage of the fact that, one, he's famous. Damn, two, he's prime private. He has all this, like, ushered to the plane type situation and just thrown in some Louis Duffels and rolled out. Yeah, yeah, but you know? that, but that, that, that's, 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 that, that, that just, that just more validates my point. That many like, who, turkey who would have, who would, who would have caught him? Who would have oh caught him at one point? That doesn't make he sense. He just started slipping. He just got too comfortable, and then yeah. started slipping. Everybody so, does, man. You, you, you do it enough. Pull back, seal it. Don't worry about wiping it down with alcohol. Just throw it in, yeah. Do, do, yeah. With a, a Frank, a Frank, Frank coffee ground Lucas. on it, it'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. Frank Lucas was uh, pushing so much dope over. From Vietnam, and um, Frank Lucas, you know, and he was making so much money every single day. But you know what? That one slip up, he had to go to the fight <laughs> in that furry ass hat and that big ass man chinchilla, coat. bro. <laughs> Get it right. Did they even have chinchilla <laughs> coats back then in Hell the seventies? Yeah, I, I don't think it was chinchilla. I think it was, it was chinchilla. Chinchilla. probably mink or something. It was, but it was actually mink. I'm sorry. I'm of course, you guys but, don't know your animals. Of course, I do, Jason. It was mink. No, it was not. Anyway, anyways, go ahead, Jenny Beth. What are you saying? It was, yeah, I agree with you. Absolutely. You can yeah. Yeah. keep going, Rico. Uh, Sorry, you got cut let off. Me off just say, let me just say, I had lots of meals with uh, people in prison who did that. And guess what? They ended up in prison watching CNN with me in, in the welcome room, you know? So be very careful because, like Omar said, it is tempting and it's not flying with a, you know, a couple gummies on a commercial airline. Uh, it's even worse than flying into Moscow with your vape. That sounds you know, like your vape card. That sounds like right. cruel and unusual punishment, Dale. Making people watch CNN. Yeah, well, so is twenty-five years in federal prison. But I'm with that. You know, <laughs> well, there are certain places I wouldn't want to go just because they'll bust you for residual THC, like United Arab Emirates, yeah. yep. Saudi yep. Arabia. They're insane. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I don't even. I'm not gonna touch the Saudi Arabia one, but yeah. I can go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, uh, any, any any other? Are we done with this one? Is uh, Jason uh, done gaslighting I just, everybody? I, I I just I'm just confused as to how how this guy this guy got caught. He has to have gotten snitched on, and like there must have been, you know, what I'm saying agents waiting for him when the plane landed because otherwise I don't see at what point he would have got caught. I think we'll, we'll have to wait for the uh, the other details to come out, we'll, and uh, we'll, we will uh, update on this one. So mm-hmm. I say free my man's though, man. <laughs> man. Let him go, huh? Maybe you should have let read. him go. Joe Biden, send a pardon to this guy, and you'll do more for him than you've done to anybody. <laughs> if he would have ran, a, if he would have ran a faster forty, maybe he could have got away, Rico. We're talking about uh, they don't he's run. He's playing for, soccer, run so he's probably not. It makes me think that if you if you bring the kind buds, you got a lot more risk than if you got all the money in the world. I'm betting you there's a whole bunch of mids that he got caught with, a whole bunch of booth packs. I'm, I'm betting this guy's mm-hmm. listening to too much rap music. Yeah, he's feeling himself, that's for sure. Have you heard British rap? It's hard as fuck, and they also sound hot because they have little accents. Like, honestly... I listen oh, to it going down the street sometimes. Oh boy! Yeah, man, I, I like I like that. I like make that you want to load up a PJ with some yeah. gas and some, well, not gas, yeah, but PJ with some savers and yeah, fuck with that, <laughs> gives whole. Yeah, they new... might not, they might you might not get shot, but they will stab the shit out of you over there. Gives whole new meaning to gas up the jet, you guys. <laughs> 